In this demo, we will see the, some of the features of Unified Infrastructure Manager Operations version 3.0. UIM Operations is a companion to UIM Provisioning Center and is the vBlock visualization and management tool that gives the administrator of the vBlock visibility of the alerts and underlying topology and infrastructure of the vBlock. Like UIM provisioning, UIM operations deploys as a vApp and is very simple to configure and set up. Once the vApp has been deployed, we go to the administration tab and manage data sources. We simply add the UIM provisioning server as a data source and UIM operations automatically pulls in all the information needed from the UIM provisioning server in order to start monitoring and, and visualizing the, the vBlock components. Once the configuration has been entered, the alerts will immediately begin showing up in the Alerts tab. Alerts can be filtered, sorted, and searched based on category headings such as severity, root cause type, component, and so on. In this case, the administrator is looking for any alerts that are affecting a service that's been provisioned by UIM provisioning server. Once the alerts have been filtered, we can see at the top of the list a root cause event showing that a compute blade is missing or faulted. If we select the alert, we can see the details and properties of the alert at the bottom of the screen. We can also select the root cause analysis tab to look at the causality and symptoms of this particular alert. UIM uses root cause analysis technology in order to determine what are the symptoms of the root as well as what are the causes of the root. Here we can see what's been impacted by this particular blade failing. Expanding the impacts will show both the vBlock and associated service that have been impacted by this faulted component. Drilling into the service, we can see a map overview of the root cause alert along with the impacted vBlock and service. Initially, the map shows just the impacted vBlock and service of this alert. The alert can also be expanded, however, to show the causality symptoms of the alert itself. Once expanded, other symptoms of this alert can be visualized. These symptoms are alerts coming from other components of the vBlock, such as vCenter, UCS Manager, and so on. Finally, we can expand the service itself. This will show how the service was provisioned, including the VLANs, associated ESX servers, and VMFS data stores as they've been provisioned. Clicking on any element in the service will show the interconnectivity between the elements within this service. Finally, we can see the vBlock that the service is residing on at the bottom, as well as the vApps that are supported by this service at the top. Another way to visualize maps is by clicking on the Topology tab in UIM Operations. Under the Category view, we can see the physical and logical views of the vBlock as well as the services and the vApps that are associated with this particular vBlock. Drilling into the vBlock gives us a deeper detailed map of how the vBlock is constructed and laid out. Once the vBlock view opens, we can see all of the services supported by this vBlock that have been provisioned by UIM provisioning. These services are, include active, inactive, pending, decommissioned, and so on. Within the vBlock itself, we can click on the individual elements to see the logical interconnectivity between these elements. We see all layers, including the Cisco UCS, the MDS switches, the Nexus switches, and then finally the EMC storage array on the back end. If we select any of the elements, we can also see alerts associated with those elements, such as here we see the UCS alerts, the chassis alerts associated with chassis 1, and then finally we can expand out chassis 1 and see the individual blades and any alerts on those. We, we already know that blade 1 is missing, so clicking on blade 1 can show us again the alerts that we saw earlier with the root cause of the blade missing, faulted, as well as any of the other symptoms and alerts associated with that blade. Now that we know that there's a failed blade, we can launch into the UIM provisioning server and restore this service to its original availability of two servers.
Once logged into the UIM provisioning server, we can select the Service Manager tab, find the affected service with the failed blade, and deactivate the failed blade, releasing the blade back. UIM will then mark this blade as unavailable since it's no longer present in the UCS system. When we reactivate the server, UIM will automatically choose the next available good blade out of the compute pool. It'll associate the service profile and the LUN with that blade, reboot the server, and restore the cluster to its original two-node configuration. UIM operations also includes very powerful search capabilities. In this example, a user has just logged an IT help desk ticket indicating that the Peter vApp is not performing well. The administrator can quickly pull up the vApp and look at a map of the VMs associated with this vApp. We see here three VMs, two of which have warnings associated with them. Looking at one of the VMs, we can see the alert shows that the VM is disconnected. And then further looking at the ESX server that the VM is running on, we can see that the host connectivity is lost. This is most likely the cause of the degradation in performance of this VM. And now the administrator can take appropriate action by reprovisioning the server in UIM provisioning. The last feature I'd like to demonstrate in UIM operations is the ability to forward events to third-party systems. Under the Administration tab, we choose Manage Alert Forwarding. Here we can see that both SNMP and Syslog forwarding are supported. We can also select Syslog or SNMP and choose the level of severity of the type of events we wish to forward. For example, in this case, we've chosen to forward warning, error, and critical events to the third-party system. This concludes the demo of Unified Infrastructure Manager Operations version 3.0. If you have further questions or would like to see a live demo, please contact your local EMC or VCE sales resources and we can line that up for you. Thank you for your time.